Which of the following is not a feature of Wallerian degeneration? That means which is not a feature of the Wallerian degeneration? Here the options. Options are may result from exonotipesis, uh, typically occurs in peripheral nervous system. The exon remains excitable throughout the whole process. Distal neuronal system is affected. It is a component of healing process following neuro neuronal injury. So we have to now know details about the Wallerian degeneration. So what is Wallerian degeneration? It is a process that occurs when nerve is cut or crushed. That means a nerve is destroyed. And when it occurs, it occurs when part of the exon separated from the neuronal cell nuclear degenerate. That means it is the part of the exon. Exon is destroyed but covering not affected. Sometimes affected, sometimes not. Usually begins 24 hours following the neuronal injury. 24 to 48 hours required to initiate the process. And it occurs usually distal to the exon and remain excitable until this time. That means the what that means? That means the distal neuron, that means the cutting part or cutted part of the neuron it is remains excitable up to the 24 hours and degeneration of the exon is followed by breaking down of the myelin sheet and this process occurs infiltration site of the macrophage that means the distal part of the exon which is completely crushed or removed they are destroyed by the action of the macrophage that means macrophage engulf them and destroy them the regeneration of the nerve may occur although recovery will depend on extent on manner of the injury so here we can see this is a normal neuron here the cell body and nucleus present after that this is the sheet which is the swan cell and also the exon which is the central part and from this area the nerve is cut or destroyed or crushed and for this here we can see this is the distal part and this distal part is destroyed or it is engulfed by the immune cell and this immune cell mainly macrophage so what happened when the distal part of the neuron is separated from the proximal part then the distal part is eaten up by the macrophage and it is known as the Wallerian degeneration it is the another picture showing same type of injury here we can see the increased cellular fraction and this part and phase 2 and phase 3 also here we can see the different type of action actually the distal part are destroyed in this process here we can see the different type of the nerve injury the first of all which is the neuropraxia so in neuropraxia what happened the exon this is the inner part is the exon this exon is intact but the covering the covering is injured so when the only the covering is injured in this condition it is known as the neuropraxia what happens in case of neuropraxia there the signal transmission usually disturb few days then the regeneration of the covering occurs and finally again the normal procedure on the other hand the exon optimesis here we can see the exon this part of the exon is involved and in case of the neurotemesis here the complete transaction in this place also it is another picture showing very clear in case of the neuropraxia here we can see the only the covering area are affected in case of b which is the exon temesis here only the exon is destroyed and in case of type c which is neurotemesis which is neurotemesis in this condition whole that means from here up to here whole length are or whole breadth are involved uh, so what is not a feature of the volarian degeneration here we can see the exon remain excitable throughout the whole process actually not throughout the whole process it present 24 hours to 48 hours of initial injury it may result from the exon temesis yeah only neuropraxia is expired from the volarian degeneration but other two options such as the exon temesis and neuro 
and exontemesis here we can see this is the exontemesis and neurotemesis in case of exontemesis and neurotemesis there volarian degeneration occurs and typically occurs in peripheral nervous system it is also true the distal neuron system is affected actually the distal nervous system is activated uh, affected is component of healing process following the neurosal injury it is also true so only the false option that the exon remains excitable not the whole process only 24 hours